Well, it's that time for the Xfinity Series. Jeez, I, you know what? I cared about the Truck Series, obviously. I wanted to win the championship. Although the Truck Series schedule is a little bit short. It feels like we've been uh, racing the Xfinity Series and racking up wins for quite a long time. 33 race long season. Uh, again, the Cup Series is just a few more weeks than that. But, uh, man, 32 races down and one more to go for the championship. So here's the situation. Elliot Sandler, Eric Jones, William Byron. The other three competitors who are going to be fighting against us for the championship. Well, let's uh, take it back and see what we started with. So we had uh, quite a few more drivers. Uh, Cole Custer, Reed, gone. Blake Cook, Jones, uh, Brandon Jones, Brandon Poole, Brandon Kozlowski, Jeremy Clements. All in there. So the first four eliminated, you see Jones, Poole, Kozlowski, and Clements. On to the next round, we eliminated Ryan Reed, Blake Cook, Cole Custer, Brandon Gaughan. Cut that in half, and that is our final four for Homestead. So we look at the full standings, point standings for the Xfinity Series. I got to say, I think we uh, technically deserve it the most. We've won 11 races, 65 playoff points. Elliott Sadler won four on the season. Eric Jones only won. Uh, William Byron also did very well. He had five wins for himself. Uh, yeah, Ryan Reed, Cole Custer, two and one there. Go ahead and scroll down. Clemens picked up a win. All Guyer had two, so... I believe that uh, that was really about it, all the way down to Carl Long in last, and yeah, David Starr in 37th. But again, we'll take a look at this afterwards, and uh, we'll look at the final point standings. But uh, a quick look at the rivals before we hop into it. Uh, most, most, mostly everybody's rivals. So, I mean, that's pretty much a good thing for Homestead. Uh, well, actually, to be honest, we had quite a few who aren't, which kind of sucks too. Not, definitely not near as many as the as the Truck Series, but. Uh, we got a good part of the field. So here's the thing, though, is that we're going to... I feel like we're going to be running towards the front. And a lot of our rivals, you know, are towards the back. So that could be a problem if we need straightaway speed. But luckily, we do have momentum. A 10% speed boost. So that should help out a little bit as well. So here we go, guys. 32 races down. We've won 11 of them. And it all comes down to one more race to decide the Xfinity Series champion. And no matter what, after this, we're signing with a cup team. And we're going on to the cup series full time. So... Oh, man. <laughs> uh, if if we could bring the 89 crew, Morgan Shepard Racing Venture as a championship, it would be a dream come true. So let's make it happen. Okay. Well, you guys know the struggle. The Xfinity Series struggle, the Carl Longs, the David Stars, the Dakota Armstrongs, the Matt Tiffs, the, just the people who have angered me over the course of this long Xfinity Series season. There is not much of anything I want to do more at this point than come out here and win this damn championship. And that's what we're going to try to do today. It'll take us half a lap lap to get us going, but uh, we're about ready to... Okay. Yeah, we're about ready to find out what we got very quickly here. There you go. Yeah, everybody slide up. This this bottom lane, th this is mine. I was... Uh, yeah, I actually haven't done a, uh, a cup or Xfinity race here, so... I wasn't exactly sure. I'd figure they would uh, take the same habits as the Xfinity series, as, or Truck series, my bad, of, uh, you know, kind of sliding up so we can cruise around here on the bottom. This thing is a little bit tight, but, yeah, again, we've got the 10% momentum speed boost. We do have some rivals to push us around if we need it. Oh, boy, man. So who are we fighting against? Elliot Sadler, Eric Jones, and William Byron. I actually forgot to look what they were, where they were running, but, yeah, I didn't really have to guess, so I didn't even really have to look. There's always that one guy, much like the truck series. Oh God, like Eric Jones, he runs like 12th the whole race, and then you got uh, the one guy who dominates, William Byron, up there, and then there's Elliott Sadler, like not too far behind in third. It's kind of like that in the truck series. So yeah, we're gonna have to. I'd say we're probably gonna have to win this race to win the championship, as William Byron's all the way up there. But we've got a long time to, we got a long, long time to figure out how to get up there, work our way up there, with some strategy. Oh boy, just slide up just a little bit. All right. There you go. I guess I'm not sure if Eric Jones is our rival. Honestly, I don't think any of the any of the championship four are our rivals, so that might be nice. Oh, here we go. Man, this thing is shoving though a little bit. We're gonna have to figure this out and get it turned in a little bit better. But it's still pretty fast though. We've already managed our way to get up to eighth. We did qualify 21st again. Better qualifying run for the mile and a half than what we usually have. Man, never ran the bottom line, sort of kind of drifted up. There we go. Can really ease it up up here. All right, Eric Jones. Yeah, he's not a rival. He's not pushing me. Okay. Yeah. I'm def I, Elliot Sadler might be one. I don't, I'm pretty sure Bill, uh, Byron is not. 
So, at least we don't have to worry about any of the final four wrecking me. That's cool, I guess. Hold your line. Hold your line. There we go. We'll get Hemrick here. And we'll slide up, fall right in line. He's got to go one car at a time. Just like throw it off in there, slide jump up the track. And just keep on it. Best lap ever. Hell yeah. Here we go. Throw it off in here. We got plenty of room to slide on up. Take that spot right away. Oh, oh, got her into the wall. Oh, boy. Yeah, a little loose or something. I'm not sure, but he kept his foot in it. Oh, here comes Blake Cook. Yeah, there you go. Go up there and pass Byron for me. I'd appreciate it. Well, it's Sadler right up here, and here we come. Here comes that 89 car. Man, I'm confident for today, man. I'm, I'm disappointed with how the truck race went, how the, how the finish ended up playing out, and I'm ready, man. I, I want to win this so bad. It has been such a long fucking season, and I just want to win this championship just and so I can tell David Starr and Carl Long and, and all my other rivals to shove it. Here you go. Mm, slide up. No, okay. Well, there you go. Didn't slide up as much as I thought. Be able to sneak under here. Blake Cook's another one. Like, he usually runs towards the front. Half the time, we don't even escape David Starr and Carl Long to, to get up to Blake Cook for him to wreck us, so... There you go. We'll take that spot. We'll just slide in here. A little bit of a side job, not really. We can uh, really get off into the corner. Got enough momentum to get off. But here we go. William Byron, it's your turn. We've got everybody up until you. We're going to have to win this race probably to win the championship. Here we come. Oh, boy. A little loose down there. That's okay. We're there. We'll get back in this draft. We're gonna have to set him up though. Man, he's got straightaway speed, so like something else. Unfortunately, we don't have that, but oh man, way up the track. Nearly in the wall, shit. Right. Clear, clear, new leader. New championship leader, 89 car. Where's Morgan Shepard at? Rumor, rumor has it he's out here skating around Homestead, Miami somewhere. That uh, shattered pelvis is healed up nicely and he's ready to get back in the car for next season. He's around here somewhere. We'll, we'll find out to find him post race. A white flag left. Uh, one lap left here in the, in the stage. So, the ten lap stage. I think it's what one lap longer than the truck series. So, I uh, get a couple more laps in the truck series. Again, just running on the 25 percent. But oh man, we are gapping Byron. He is sliding up a lot through one and two. And man, we are making enough time through there, keeping it a little bit lower and keeping that momentum up. Hell yeah, this is what I like, man. We've got some speed in the car, and this thing is running good. And there you have it. First stage, MCJ. There it is. All right. Well, we're off to a good start, and that's what I like to see. Now we got to pit, not lose a bunch of spots, and uh, keep it up. Oh, yeah, everybody's pitting. I don't want to mess that up. All right. Four tires of fuel. We're going to loosen this thing up just a skosh. All righty. Well, half the field stayed out. William Byron, Elliott Sadler did pit with us. I wonder if Eric Jones stayed out. He might have tried something different just like everybody else in front of us. Oh my god, of course all the scrubs are right there in front of us. Well, <laughs> yeah, we'll see how this goes. It's going to take us a little bit to get going, but... There you go, just cruise around the bottom. Oh man, they're stacking up. Who the hell is the leader? It looks like Ty Dillon. Oh man, all the scrubs up in here. Carl Long inside the top 15 it looks like. Oh boy. Rip. Oh, we're, we're a couple cars wide. I'm just going to sneak through here. Carl Long, Majeski, how y'all doing? We got David Starr. Oh, man, all of the, all the rivals right here. Oh, my God, three wide. Carl Long in the middle. Let's just give me away. Give me away. I'm not trying to get an apron. Okay, this thing is a little bit looser. Here we go. We got them four fresh tires. Here we come, three and four wide. Stephen Light, you better keep your stupid ass up there. That's all I know. You're another one. Stephen Light, Joey Gase. We got so many arrivals, I can't ever remember half of them. That's just giving me shit the entire season. Bubba Wallace, we tagged him on late. Looks like Kevin Harvick looking for the lead, but man, we are hauling around the bottom. Jeez, what are we, four wide? Hell yeah, we are. Michael Annette's over there somewhere, too, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh, clear. Oh, Bubba. He saw me coming. He said, nope. Turn to the right. Get the hell out of the way. Here you go, Logano. I'll give you some help. Two-car tango down the back stretch to get away from these fools back here. Okay, so yeah, we got Logano and uh, who is it? Oh, sh or, um, damn it, my bad. Oh, nice save. 
That was pretty slick. What do I do? I just come up and hit him again. Right. Smart thinking. Oh my god, these guys still haven't figured it out back here. There you go, there's my rivals pushing me down the straightaway. Alright, let's try this again. Like, at least I got Bobo a free spot. I didn't mean to do that. The, what threw me off was he took the bottom line there. And I usually just like to sneak underneath them in the entry of the corner, so... I, I was going to cross them over, and instead I just ran it right into the back bumper. There we go. Sneak up underneath right, there. Alright, now we're up to third. Whoa! Both of them coming into pit. New later. Back to the front we go. <laughs> I tell you what, man. I said it. I mentioned it in the intro. This, like, out of NASCAR Heat Evolution and NASCAR Heat 2, this has to be the most frustrating season I've ever put together. And I won 11 races. The problem with it was is just we had so many mile-and-a-half races where the rivals just wrecked me constantly. It was, like, some seriously frustrating races. So to come out here and potentially win this championship, we could win this championship. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, that would be huge, man. I just want to get the last laugh and just never return the Xfinity Series ever again. And, and half of that is I want to give Morgan Shepard an Xfinity Series championship as an owner. How cool is that? How cool would that be? Well, a lot of guys on pit road. This is definitely going to hurt these guys. A lot of them will likely go lap down. So the field is kind of half and half on who stayed out and who didn't. But, uh, well, okay, there you have it. Oh, wait, it just... The fuck is this? So is this damage going to count? I only have one estimated second. What is that? The caution comes out and it just kill- uh, the, Like the game just kills myself? What is up with that? What? Oh, ooh. Okay, these guys staying out. Well, that was the end of the stage. No, we got to pit. We got to get that fuel. Okay, we pit. We did fix it. We came out 23rd. Only 26 on the lead lap. Ooh, this is big. I'm not 100% sure what the fuel mileage is. But this could get us close to a one-stop race. Either way, we've got the fuel advantage. We know we've got a fast car. 30 laps to go, and we're right there. Yep, 15 and 30. That is right on the money for a one-stop race. And we're going to have, like, five, six laps more fuel than those guys who stayed out. And I'm pretty sure everybody who stayed out were racing for in the championship. So that was huge. But now it all comes down to whether we get a caution or not. And it did just go down to 14 there. So, but another thing that I did observe when we were in the truck series. Again, we, we lost because of it. When you run Homestead, you're out of the throttle a good bit. Uh, you kind of coast off into the corner and you, and you coast off, especially as the tires start to wear. You do a lot of coasting, so. What does coasting do for you? Well, I'll tell you, it saves you a lot of fuel. So, oh, my Brandon Brown. That was a hell of a nice overreaction, jeez. But, um, but yeah, I think, honestly, I think that's what, what helped Christopher Bell win the championship in the truck series. Um, uh, AI's lift a lot, I would assume. Again, we're out of throttle a good bit. So you do save a lot of fuel here, and you, you don't even really have to try. So I think we could save enough fuel here, both this run and the next run, to make it on one on one stop. It's close right now. We're about like a lap short of being able to make it on one stop. All right. Yeah, we're out of throttle a good bit right there. Here we go. Back inside the top 15. Oh, God. Kiss the house. Get the check. Here we go. We'll follow mine. So why this is so big that it's a one-stop race for us, which, I mean, all it comes down to, it's going to be a two, as long as we don't get any cautions, it will be a two-stop race for everybody else. So, uh, so what, they've got like six laps left, uh, less fuel than us, so that puts them at about six estimated, and that'll get them all the way down to, what, 21 laps left in the race? Um, so, after that, they can't make 21 laps worth of fuel, so they're going to have to come in a second time. Again, we're hoping we can make it all the way down to about 15 to go. And uh, that's right on the number for, for to make it on just that one stop. So, everything plays out, I think we're going to be okay. Boy, we, we've got a hell of a shit gaggle right here. Three wide. Oh, God. I know you got a lot of cars here. Let me just kind of zoom by here on the bottom. Don't mind me. Oh, boy. It looks like Eric Jones is the point up there. First time he's been out front all day for sure. William Byron and uh, I presume Elliot Sadler are not too far behind. Looks like, uh, yeah, what is that, Sadler right there behind him? Yeah, and William Byron's actually falling back to fourth. Damn it, Cook. It's a warning. 
Actually, no, I'm, you know what? Screw you. I'm not even going to mess with you. I can't, I can't even get close to cause of the caution. This is just throw the whole strategy away. I'd appreciate it if I could run down here. Thank you. There you go. Slide it up. Oh. Bounced off the 42. Looked like, oh, clear. Clear, barely. There you go. Now push me down the stretch. There you go. Oh, man, the rivals. Only coming to play at Homestead. Give us a lot of momentum. Go off in here. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, not quite. There you go. Cook might do it for me. Just give me enough push. There we go. We'll clear Henry. We might be able to catch Clements. There you go. The, man, again, why it was such a big deal. If you go back, if you haven't watched it yet, my first attempt at Homestead in the Truck Series, uh, when I made it, oh, Byron coming in. Yeah, he definitely will not be able to make it. But if you go back and watch that first, uh, what was it called? It was like David vs. Goliath uh, and, and 30-some rivals, uh, something like that. But if you haven't gone, if you haven't watched it, go, go back and watch it. We literally got pushed to a championship, damn near. Like, we were, we were chipping away the corners of John Hunter Nemechek. And then we got on the straightaways and the rivals would just push us. But here we go. I think all these guys are pitting right here right now. Let's stick around the high side. Yeah, here they come. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, boy. Everybody coming in. And here we are. New leader. 22 laps to go. And if this goes green, we 100% know for a fact they will not be able to make it on fuel. Unlike the whole Christopher Bell incident in the last video. We know for a fact they will not be able to make it on fuel. So that, that's, that makes me feel a little bit better. Oh my god, look at that top five. Brandon Brown, Eric Elmerola, Stephen Light, and Ryan C. So that's another big thing. With half the field being kind of split, because there were some guys who picked because they were lamped down. Uh, this is going to split the field up a good bit. So uh, we're going to see we're gonna see some very random drivers probably finishing inside the top ten, that's for sure. So we've got 18 laps to go. Four laps. Oh, now it just went down to three. So again, we're saving fuel, so we can definitely make it down to 15 laps to go. And that that's that's the mark we need to get to. If we can get to that, and we have no cautions, we'll be fine. We're almost out of gas. All right. So we're going to stay out this time. Again, we still got two estimated. It should go down to one estimate as we go off into turn one. It's 16 laps to go, so we're going to pit this time probably. And that'll be, we'll be pitting coming to 15 to go. So again, it'll probably, we still might be a half a lap short. Honestly, I'd like to stretch it probably one more lap. But if we did, we'd probably be running out right about here. And that's, that's not a good idea. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to bring it down here and make sure we get on to pit road full speed. Well, we got to slow down, but you know what I mean. Here we go. Nobody behind us here. I'm just going to take my time, not speed, and there we go. So we're going to go two estimated four tires, no damage. I think we're good on tape, and honestly, I think the setup feels great. I think it, it is like right, it is right on the money for like loose tight wise. Um, it's still like just barely loose on the bottom, but it's like, that, like that's what you want, man. Just barely loose. All right, boys. One more time for the, the Racing with Jesus crew. <laughs> They've had slow pit stops all year, I won't lie, but it's okay. We, we still won, managed to win 11 races, so I'm not too mad. There you go, boys. 16.2. Good lord, that is slow as shit. Alright, through the access road. I was going to hop right up on track, but... Oh, well. A little cheap, I guess. We'll just, we'll just take the access road like we're supposed to. Alright, well, at least it's not too loose down there. There we go. Man, we're going to come out as the leader. Quite a bit, actually, yeah. Three and a half seconds. Oh man, it's GG if we came out as the leader. Oh man, and then all these guys still have to pit one more time. The only problem now is, yep, it's already down to 14. So we're we're gonna be a little bit short, but I'm confident we can save that. Again, everybody else near us has to pit one more time. Oh fuck off! I'm staying out. I'm staying out. We just pit. We're fine. We're gonna be on the lead lap. <sighs> just we just had to race for it, didn't we? I didn't want to race for it. I just wanted to just dominate and lap everybody and win on strategy. Yep, uh, suck it, game. <sighs> well, at least we had some guys who stayed out with me. Eric Elmerola, Ben Kennedy, <laughs> Carl Long, JJ Yaley. All stayed out, so they are my buffer. Well, here we go. 11 laps. 
And this is likely gonna be it. I knew we weren't gonna go green. We never do. Oh boy, please let me get up to speed. If we can clear Amarola here for the backstretch, we'll, we're not gonna clear him. Okay, well. All right, cool, you go ahead. You're a rival, you're not gonna push me. Okay, at least we can get up to speed by the by turn, uh, yeah, turn three. There we go. Pardon me, I'm gonna take this back now. Thank you. New leader. 89 car, and this time I'm gone. We better not get any more cautions. So where we got? We're gonna we're gonna pay close attention. Elliot Sadler, 10 to go, six tenths behind us. Oh god, and he's now up to fourth. So it looks like Elliot Sadler is the guy. Where's Ryan Priest when you need him? And he calls us a championship. I don't know any other way to look at it. And just like that, Elliot Sadler is up to second. Fuck. Well. I don't know if we've got a fast enough car. We just pulled him by a little bit there. I don't know if we've got a fast enough car. Oh yeah, he's pulling me on the straightaway. All I know is this car can get very wide. Oh boy. The good thing is I don't see anybody else. So, you know, if we wreck, there's a good chance we might be able to cycle ahead of him still. And the other guys as well, so. Oh boy, eight laps to go and we're not pulling away from him. In fact, he's closing. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Eight tenths, nine tenths. It's just a straightaway is where he gets all the speed, man. Like, them MJ, JRM cars are so fast on the straightaway. But luckily, we pulled it out to 1.1 there. There we go. That's all we need to do. We need to get away from that draft, especially on the straightaway. There you go. Get, get around that bottom. Come on, let me see 1.2 this time. Well, 1.2, let's see it. Shit. All right, well, it's staying at 1.1 now. There we go. Seven. You know, if we keep it right here, we're okay. Oh, I don't like it, man. I don't like it. Even in NASCAR Heat 2, man, like, I've been in this situation in iRacing, and I thought I was going to have a heart attack. It came down to, to something like this, where I had to hold off the second-place driver for the championship. Uh, there's no actual record of it, unfortunately. That was, um, I was having computer issues, I was having OBS issues, and that was one of the leagues I actually didn't stream or record anything, but I, I really wish I would have, because that was... The most intense championship battle I've ever had in my life because he was way faster than me at the end. And it came down, of course, at Homestead. It was a beat car league, so it was the Xfinity Series. And I had to hold him off, and I barely did. I did win the championship. And I, like, geez, my body at the end of that race was so out of whack because I was so nervous. And, like, the, when it, I can only imagine what it's like for the, for the guys in real life to come to Homestead for the Trucks through Cup to, to race one race for a championship. Crazy. Even in NASCAR Heat 2, man. Like, my heart gets racing here at the end of these Homestead races. Five Ugh, five laps to go. Come on, damn it. Oh, what the fuck? That better not be a caution. You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. That better not be a caution. David Starr, the fucking troll of the year. You better not troll me in my championship race. That's all I know. Or we're gonna have a serious fucking problem. I think we're okay. Can you... What is this, man? Is there, is there somebody, like, secretly, like, coding the game to, to screw with me? Out of all the 39 other cars that could have been stopped in turn one, it's David Starr. What are the fucking odds? We didn't get a caution, so I'm... A, I came around that corner. I saw a white, white car. I knew instantly who it was. Just sitting there in the middle of the corner, waiting for a stupid caution. Here he is again! Out in the middle of the grass. That better not be a caution. He's, he's on the access lane. He's having a hell of a rough time. Just get your stupid ass in the pits. 1.7 is the gap. Three laps to go. Come on. Just get to pit road. Two laps to go, and the gap is over two seconds. It appears that David Starr has made it to pit road. Oh, boy. <sighs> oh, let's just get to the white flag. Even though if a caution comes down on the white flag, it won't end it. But, uh, yeah, that'd be one, one lap closer to the checkered flag. Oh, let's just get this thing over with, man. Before someone else stupid blows a tire or something. White flag! One more lap left in the season. Oh, man. Oh, man. That hammering you hear is the sound of the nail in the final coffin 
of the chase contender's hopes of upsetting the 89 car. Through three and four, we're back on it. We don't need to get out of the gas too much. We're good on fuel. We're good on tires. Oh my God. Yes. The greatest achievement of my life. 12 race wins and a championship in Morgan fucking Shepard's car. Yes. Ah. Oh. Yes. This is, the, this is the greatest thing I've ever done. We might have lost the Truck Series Championship, but my God. Da David Starr. The guy who almost ruined it for me. David Starr. If you're watching out there, your in-game character can suck it. If he would have caused a caution and I would somehow got ran over and I lost this championship, I might have just exploded. Who knows what might have happened. But it's okay. It didn't happen. But for all the season of shit that you gave me, suck it. You will always suck. You're always going to run in the back in NASCAR Heat 2. Um, you wrecked me a lot of times, but I still win 12 times. So joke's on you. And I win the championship. Suck it. And eat shit. <sighs> oh, look at the finish of results. We've, we've done it. We've done it. Morgan Shepard. Shepard Racing Ventures. We are champions. We are fucking champions. Let's get to this celebration. Come on, hop out of the car. Where are we at? Yes! Where's Morgan Shepard at? I think I see Morgan Shepard back there somewhere. Oh, there he is. What's up, Morgan? We did it, buddy. We did it. Yes. All right. I can't believe it, man. 12 wins in an Xfinity Series championship in Morgan fucking Shepard's car. My God. Incredible. Have you ever. Oh, what the hell? If you did not complete all the incentive contract goals, better luck with the next contract. Oh boy, here we go, Brad Kislanski. We see him uh, once or twice a year. Welcome back, buddy. Xfinity Series champion. Wow, congratulations. All that hard work is paying off for you. That was the least exciting video message I think I've ever gotten in my life. That was like, that was probably the lamest thing I've ever seen. Whew. Now that the season is over, it's time to take a look at your contracts and sign with the team for next year. Well, so we got uh, 22 teams available for the trucks, 22 teams available for the Xfinity, six teams available for the Cup Series. So again, amongst the the cars we have, uh, we've raced for in the hot seat. Uh, this is the available options. So we got Go Fast Racing, we've got uh, Rick Ware Racing, we've got uh, Le Le Levine Family Racing. I believe that's how you say that. We've got the Wood Brothers. We've got Front Row Motorsports. Oh, wow, well, yeah, I guess we do have a couple cars there. Okay, cool. We've got Hendrick Motorsports, 88. Jimmy Johnson, Chase Elliott, and Casey Kane. And that is it. But, unfortunately, before I go ahead and make up my mind, we're going to have to end the video here, and we're going to include it in our first Cup Series race full-time for the Daytona 500, where you'll... Uh, We'll figure out who we who we signed for, and we'll get on to the Great American Race. But man, so first and foremost, I have to thank each and every one of you for supporting the NASCAR Heat 2 Career Mode. Again, it continues as as crappy as the game some sometimes is. Uh, this is easily my most favorite series to do. I, you know, it's it's it, a lot of uh, memes and stupid things have come out of it. Whether it's David Starr or David Starr. Or David Starr, uh, it's it's been it's been so much fun. Uh, it's it's always awesome to hear from you guys in the comments and you guys, um, you know, through Twitter or whatever this and you guys enjoying the series. It's it's something special, and I love to continue to bring this to you guys. And it's really great to see all you guys who enjoy it. So once again, I appreciate all your guys' support for leaving comments and subscribing and coming back to watch the videos, leaving likes on the video, all that stuff uh, helps me out a ton. 
and uh, it uh, it means the world to me. So once again, thank you to everybody for supporting the series. And we're going to be back for the Cup Series again. we got to figure out who we're going to sign with, and then we're going to go on to the Daytona 500 and our first full-time Cup season and our quest for our first Cup Series championship. But uh, I'm going to end it here. Unfortunately, we didn't win both championships, but we won the one we needed to, and that was the Xfinity Series. <laughs> Morgan Shepard's guy still can't get over that. But once again, thank you to everybody. And, uh, man, on to the Cup Series we go. Oh, boy.